Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Terrell here, and I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, if you if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, join us. Uh, it's a very welcoming community. We're all with the love. And um, anything else you need to know will be in, will be in the description. Uh, I, I am using the Wild Reflections Tarot. I'll show you, just to make it easier. <laughs> A lot of people ask me what deck I'm using all the time, so I thought I'd just show it because I don't feel like I... Sometimes when I say it, maybe people miss it, or sometimes I even forget to say it, so there it is. Uh, with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what message do we have for Leo? What is coming in for Leo? Let me see for Leo's. Well, so the first thing, Leo's, you know, I, I, I feel like there is someone that you have strong feelings for, someone that's becoming very important to you. But with as this grows and with progress, I mean, I, I, as this progresses, I feel like that's when the little voices come in. You know, I, the more you, you feel connected to this person, the more uncertainty it starts to create, you know, with that moon card. Uh, you know, I, we also have the 10 of swords. So I feel like it's, it's not so much this person. You know, I, I feel like you've been screwed over before. And it's almost like you're not in a hurry to get screwed over again. You know, one thing when we get hurt, it, it, that pain is residual. And it's almost, I know it sounds silly. It might sound silly to some people, but The biggest fear is not falling for the the right one. It's falling for the wrong one. I feel like you've been there. You know, but this connection that you have with this person, I mean, it's not going away. You know, it, that's the thing with, with, with real connections is no matter how much, I mean, that, there's that internal struggle no matter how much that eats away at you. Because I feel like you don't really know how this person feels, really. So it's almost like 
you're at your own devices here. You know, there's that internal struggle because, I mean, I feel like you really want this person to be the one. You feel like they are. You have, you know, you have, you have this feeling. But there's also that fear in the back of your head. That's what causes internal struggle. You know, I, I feel like with this connection, uh, very physical in the beginning. So it's almost like that that plays a part in this, especially when a, when a relationship starts off in a physical sense. Not necessarily you you've been intimate. For some of you, you haven't been intimate with this person. But you've thought a lot about it. You know, there's been some flirtatious energy. I mean, I... And when it starts like that, it, it's almost like, is that all it is for them? Is that all I mean to them? But even, even though all these thoughts creeping in your head, I feel like the more and more you get to know them, the more you know exactly what you want. And just like I said, we got the Knight of Swords. I mean, it's that sleepless, anxious energy, not being able to sleep at night, uh, feeling that anxiety. Like I said, the fear isn't falling for the right one, it's falling for the wrong one. You know, and I feel like this anxiety because you don't know how they truly feel about you. Now, that was a lot about you. And I'm seeing a lot about them. First thing I see with them is I feel like this person, I don't feel like they're hiding anything from you. You know, I, I don't feel like they have any uh, ill intentions. With that Seven of Swords in reverse, I I don't feel like I don't feel any malicious energy. You know, I don't see any hidden agendas. You know, I just see this quick moving energy like between the two of you. You know, I see this person fantasizing about you, fantasizing about being with you, fantasizing about a future with you. You know, this person's already already thought into the future. You know, they've already looked into the future and, and, and saw that they want you in it. You know, they, they've envisioned it already. And what this tells me, and what this tells me is we have new love. And it goes much deeper than that. You know, it's a very intense connection you have with this person. And like I said, I mean, this person, you know what you want. And the more you get to know them, the more you want them. And it's the same for them as well. You're not feeling this alone. They feel this too. You know, there's that deep connection. And like I said, even though there, it is, I do feel like there is some fast moving energy. I, like I said, it's, we're thinking about the past too much. You know, and I feel like that's giving a, giving both of you some reserve, you know, holding back a little bit. But the thing is here is what I see is someone, someone that you have this deep connection with. And the reason why you have this deep connection is because I feel like you've kind of been down the same roads. You know, I'm getting this strong twin, twin flame vibe. You know, this soulmate energy. You know, the reason why you, may, why you may not know exactly how they feel is the same reason I feel like they don't know exactly how you feel. And it's not to say either one of you didn't say it. For some of you, it has been said. But it's the believing it part. That's got us hung up. And with that lover's card, <clears throat> you know, I know people that watch me know that I like to call it the iceberg love. I've coined it that a long time ago. I don't feel that here. You 
you know, I... Another, another name I've given it is a firefighter love. You know, this person, is, it, it, when everybody's running out, this person's running in. They're running in for you. You know, I, like I said, I feel like this person, the, these feelings this person has for you is not something that they're going to walk away from. And I don't, and I, and I feel like it's on your side as well. You're not walking away from this because you weren't meant to walk away from this. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is that emotionally mature energy. You know, this person will show up for you. You know, this person is thinking about you. They'll put in the work. You know, they'll show up with that, that Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. You know, and we got that Four of Cups thinking about you and only you. You know, I see a strong foundation between the two of you. I just feel like, honestly, I just feel like the only thing stopping this right now is a little bit of defensive energy. Like I said, afraid of finding the wrong one. Afraid of giving yourself to the wrong person. But I don't see that here. You know, I see that. I see communication coming. And I see the more you communicate and the more you get to know each other and the more you, you feel this connection and the more they open up and you open up, you know, with that eight of wands, that open communication, I feel like you're going to establish that trust. The trust that gives you you know, makes you feel safe in moving forward. It's not such a leap of faith. I mean, I see emotional fulfillment. With that nine of cups, filling up your cups. You fill each other's cups. You know, don't be afraid of this being the wrong one because I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's the right one. I feel like, I, I mean, I, what I see is it's so right, it can't be wrong. And like I said, that as you move forward with this, as it starts to open up and as you start to see each other for who you really are and how you really feel, um, we allow this to, we allow, we allow ourselves to unconsciously let go of the past that's been holding us back. You know, I mean, we have the world card. You know, it's right there in front of you. This is why I do what I do, because I, I don't want people to miss out on things because of the fact that we all have tendencies of, of looking backwards sometimes. You know, but you're not going that way. You know, everything is it's coming to completion. Everything is here. You know, I, I feel like this is ready for that next level. And I feel like you both want this. I mean, the only regret I see you having is not moving forward with this. With that Five of Swords. And moving forward with this. I mean, this is my favorite card, I think, of this, this tarot deck. You know, this, this woman is deliriously happy. I mean, she's out there banging her gong. And I know I said that, but every time I see it, I just, it makes me smile. Because she just doesn't care. She's out there living life. Living it up. She's having her house coach. She didn't even think about it. She wasn't even taking the time to get dressed. You know, she's in her bare feet. In the house coat. Enjoying the sun. Enjoying the moment. Enjoying the present. And I feel like this is exactly how you're going to be. You're going you're gonna to enjoy the present. You're going to enjoy the moment. You know, don't worry about the past. And don't even, you know, don't even, you don't even have to worry about the future here. Let's worry about the now. I just put a quote up that actually, it's funny how it ties in. Um, it's kind of why I smiled when I first started pulling cards because I already knew. You know, it, it's funny how that happens sometimes. You put a quote up and it becomes very um, relevant. I mean, you can't plan it. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think you're making the wrong call on this person at, at all. 
whatsoever. There's no hidden agendas here. I feel like the person that you want, they want you as well. You know, these deep feelings that you you have are being shared by them. And I feel like you both have a little bit of reserve. I feel like there's a little bit of holding back. I feel like it it will come though. You know, we will get past that because I feel like this was meant to move forward. Like I said, the more you open up, the more communication, you know, the more, um, not only communication, but the more action that's being taken, I feel like you're going to feel more and more trust toward this person. And, and I feel like they're going to feel the same for you. And this is going to take a huge step forward because I feel like it's time it was meant to. You didn't meet them by mistake. You know, and I, and I, and I do get it because sometimes when we meet someone, especially in a physical sense, you know, we, we're physically attracted to them, we're physically drawn to them. You know, it starts off more intimate. A lot of times we wonder if that's all it, th that is. You know, is this all it is? Does this person just want to get in my pants? I don't see that here. I really don't. I don't see any red flags. <laughs> Let me back up. That is not all I see here. I'm sure that that has crossed their mind or has crossed your mind. Um, and I'm not saying that's not gonna happen. It's very likely it will. That's not all they want. That's not their intentions here. They see you as much more than that. They see you much in a much deeper way than that. You know, with this person, I mean, we get some uh, some Leo and some Sagittarius. We also have some Gemini and Aquarius. I did get some Capricorn. Some Pisces as well. That's the thing and it stops a lot of people. Unfortunately, I don't know why I'm so emphatic, emphatic with that. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of people are are more afraid of finding the wrong one than they are finding the right one. So I, I feel like it does ruin things before it even starts at times. You know, I've been guilty of the same thing. It... Um, Because, and, and the reason why I truly believe in, and comment down below what you think. I always like to hear your opinion on my, my ramblings or my random thoughts. I, I believe the reason why we're more afraid of finding the wrong one than we are in the right one, because we know what the wrong one feels like. And if you haven't found the right one yet, you're, you don't know how that feels yet. You know, it's... But you know what the wrong one feels like, and that feels shitty. I've been in some bad relationships before, and trust me, I was never in a hurry. I, I like I said before, I even gave up on love before I met, uh, before I met Rose. I gave up for a while because I was happier alone than with someone and feeling alone. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been in a relationship where you felt more alone than, than you would be if you were alone. Uh, I've been there. It sucks. And then when you get out of it, the, the last thing you want to do is go back into that again. So you kind of, you know, put it off and almost hide from it. 
I hid from it, literally. Um, this one girl was really, she was always um, trying to get me to go with her and very, very flirty with me and, and just, she went really out of her way and, and, and it was nothing against her. She seemed like a really nice girl. You know, it wasn't anything to do like, I just wasn't feeling it. And there was one night we were out and a friend of mine said that she was there. So I went and snuck out the back door. Um, she wasn't ready for it. Didn't want it. And the way she looked at me, like it didn't, I was gonna say creep me out. I don't wanna put that on her. Um, it didn't creep me out. I didn't like the way she looked at me cause she was looking for something really serious. You could tell. I'm always been good at that, knowing what a person wants from someone. Like usually I can tell I've been wrong. No one's right 100% of the time. I've been wrong, but um, it's how they look at you. You know, it's when someone, it's not the way they look at you. It's how they, it, it, it feels like they're looking into you. You know, that's when you know someone's really interested. And something more you know the way she looked at me I just it wasn't like I said there's nothing wrong there was nothing wrong with her uh, she actually was quite in my type I just was avoiding love at all costs um, but then when I met Rose it, it wasn't even a choice <laughs> like I The thought of not being with her scared me more than the thought of being with her. If that makes sense and doesn't sound terrible. You know, the fear, like I said, going back to the original point, the fear of finding the wrong one outweighs the fear of, or, tongue tied. Um, finding, the wrong one can it can scare someone away. But I feel like the right one doesn't go away that easy. That's why I see here. I mean, I this isn't just going to go away. You know, the right one gives you time to process it. Is my opinion anyway. That's what how I feel. You know, you're not afraid of finding the right one. You're afraid of finding the wrong one. Uh, nobody wants to find the next ex. You know what I mean? Certainly not have feelings for someone. And then nobody's in a hurry to get crushed either. You know, like like Pat Benatar said, love is a battlefield. But she knew what she was talking about. But we can win. Anyway, I think I've talked too much. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.